Good morning, Eorzea. Welcome to the Little Ladies Day Lodestone announcement video. So, like, I always... Because I love the freaking events in Final Fantasy XIV. You guys know that for darn sure. Uh, they announced Little Ladies Day today. They also announced some really cool... There's some really cool stuff in here, actually. Because there's some cool... There's some cool new emotes that I'm... They're like seven bucks a piece for a goddamn emote. But I want them... So I'm really, I'm really tempted to actually spend the money on that. Maybe I could do a video on that and show you guys what they look like. Uh, that might be fun for people to see too. Uh, and then they got some patch notes. There's some different things. But what we're going to talk about today is the Little Ladies Day event. And it starts on the 1st of March. And it looks freaking magical. Uh, I'm super excited for this. Uh, this Little Ladies Day is also um, known as like Girls Day. Uh, in Japan, I think it's Girls' Day, uh, but it's it's more it's it's kind of like um, like in America we have like the Sweet Sixteen birthday party kind of like um, how about, I don't know I'm a, I'm a dude my daughter's three so I haven't had I don't know how to explain that very well but it's basically like a like a coming of age celebration for uh, a young lady uh, and that's what this is about. I love the artwork in these. It's so cool. So if you remember, these guys are the songbirds that we saw last year. Uh, they're kind of like a trio of singers, uh, and we helped them last year get through some of their problems and different things, which is uh, which was kind of cool. Uh, the sweet chirp of songbirds fills the air once more. Little Ladies Day. So I'm these guys are like characters that are, are here to stay, basically. I think so, which is pretty cool. Um, from Wednesday, March 1st, 2017 at 12 a.m. to Tuesday, March 14th, 2017 at 8 or 7.59 a.m. So there's there's only about uh, 13 days or so, a little under two weeks to get this, uh, to do this event. Uh, bird watching gone wrong. A reporter from the Mithril Eye has been approaching adventurers left and right under the guise of wanting to collect opinions for an article he will be running in the paper. It quickly becomes evident, however, that he is simply looking to recruit able-bodied men and women on behalf of the royal... I... Oh, my God. Uh... I can't read. Uh, who has run headfirst into some trouble with rioting crowds. Ooh, rioting crowds. Those willing to step forward and ensure that this little lady's day will not end in disaster are encouraged to stick around and listen to what the columnists... Columnist. I know what the word that is, but I can't pronounce it for some reason. Column, columnist. Col columnist. 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 I think that N is not pronounced. Oh my god. I'm showing my stupidity right now. Public schools, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but these are the rewards, so this is what's most important. This is, And that actually sounds really cool. Like, I wonder if there's going to be, like, fights in the city or something. You have to try to calm things down, maybe. Um, but it sounds like more of a big public event that you have to be a part of, which uh, sounds really cool. Um, but, event items, event items. These look really freaking cool. These are kind of, uh, is, the, is it the Lolita? Is that the term? Kind of, kind of the term for these guys? Uh, they look really cool. Songbird's jacket, Royal Essentials coat. Uh, that looks pretty neat. I'm kind of digging that. Um, and then the emotes, uh, the Songbird emote, which was uh, one of the emotes we saw in the trailer for what is what are we in right now? 3.5, 3.5. Um, Eastern Cherry Petal Pile. That's cool. So if the few of you that still have. The original, well, you can buy them on the Mog Station now, too. The uh, the cherry blossom trees, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you have the eastern cherry pile. And then this I'm excited for, too, uh, because they did this with the Christmas, uh, I think, the Christmas event? What was the last event we had? I think it was the Christmas event that they did this with. They didn't do it with the, the previous event we just had, which I'm, oh, the Valentine's Day event. They didn't do it with, Val did they do it with Valentine's Day? No, I don't think they did. Um... This, though, this is some artwork you can place on your... Oh, I'm sorry, you can't even see what I'm pointing at down here. There we go. I apologize for that. So, Eastern Cherry Blossoms. So, it's just a pile of cherry blossoms uh, on the ground, which is pretty cool. And then the Songbird emote. Uh, but this, uh, like the Christmas event, uh, it's, a, it's a poster of 
the old school artwork that they did for Little Ladies Day a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm excited that they did that. Um, I hope that I hope to see that more because that that artwork that artwork is really awesome and I really like it a lot. I definitely hang it in my apartment or house. Uh, but that's it. Um, really cool looking gear. I like the gear. I like the emote and I like the items you can get. Uh, I'll definitely probably be getting a couple couple of the cherry, maybe three or four of the cherry blossom trees and just store them to hope that I ever have a house to use them in. Uh, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think about Little Ladies Day 2017. It's, um, it's the third third seasonal event for Final Fantasy XIV. You know, something I wish they would do, because this is, this is, like I was saying, based off Girls' Day in Japan. There's also Boys' Day in Japan, uh, which happens, I want to say... Oh, when does that happen? I feel like March, if I... Not March, but uh, June. I feel like it happens around June, somewhere in there. Uh, I, it would be really cool if they did something for for that, like Little Gentleman's Day or something, or Little... I don't know. It, I guess it would be Gentleman's Day or Boy's Day um, in the game. Uh, but uh, in Japan, Boy's Day is... Uh, one of the things I know about... It's like the only thing I know about is... Uh, uh, they celebrate with these... Uh, I used to, I would call them wind socks when I was a kid, because I think that's kind of what they're called in the States, or at least that's what my mom used to call them. And I got her, like, 1970s era terminology. Uh, but they're, um, uh, they're carp kites. Uh, so they, uh, they look like a carp, usually like blue, orange, or red, sometimes yellow. Um, but they, they're basically just a long, a long tube that you hang, hang up. Long tube. Oh. Oh, there, we, there I got both my hands there. Just a long tube that looks like a, a carp fish. Um, and you hang it on a flagpole and wind blows through it. And it looks like it's swimming in the air. Uh, if you look up carp kite, uh, I'm sure you'll definitely find tons of pictures on, on to Googles. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in what on the comments down below what you uh, like most about the event. Are you going to participate? Um, and what... What what reward are you most excited for? I'm probably going to have to get both because I have a female, my wife's old female character. I have her, so I'm, I'm going to have to get her that sweet-ass outfit. Sweet-ass outfit. No doubt about it. And that, that jacket's kind of badass. I, I don't really necessarily care for the hat, but anyway. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to post this video on both my Mr. Fox channel and my uh, Kamino Travels, Kamino's Travels channel which is my Final Fantasy XIV channel. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much, and see you next time in Eorzea.